New developments following that high-speed chase yesterday that included a crash before the suspect was arrested. That suspect now facing new charges. Channel 2's Taisha Walker is live in Houston Southside where that chase came to an end. Taisha. Keith, we were all glued to our screen yesterday watching as that chase came to a peaceful end at this intersection right behind me. The man that led Houston police across the city on that chase was in court this morning and faced two unrelated charges from the chase. Clayton Richard Bryant made his first appearance before a judge this morning after Houston police say the 37-year-old led them on a one-hour, 66-mile chase across South Houston Monday. Bryant, who already had a lengthy criminal record, received five new charges today. Mr. Bryant, I'm going to find that there is sufficient probable cause for all five of these charges. To Felony aggravated assault against a public servant, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, evading arrest in a motor vehicle, aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon, and felon in possession of a deadly weapon. Officers were in an unmarked vehicle, but were wearing tactical gear, clearly identifying themselves as police. Prosecutors say HPD officers were trying to serve Bryant a warrant for his arrest yesterday after a judge found out that Bryant had violated the conditions of his bond. The 37-year-old was out on bond for eight cases. He was also being held without bond on a ninth offense. Another officer in an unmarked vehicle attempted to block the exit from the parking lot, and the defendant intentionally struck his vehicle with his his own in order to get past it. And that's how prosecutors say the chase from the 7800 block of Kirby Drive to 288 and Re Road began. At one point, recklessly crashing into a vehicle in the 2500 block of Reed Road, injuring the driver and passenger of that vehicle. Bryant drove another 100 yards before finally coming to a stop and surrendering. We later learned that he was talking to his attorney and relatives along the way. So those two additional charges stem from an April incident where prosecutors say that Brian allegedly robbed a man at gunpoint. We know that he is currently sitting in jail in Harris County on a half a billion dollar bond that's combined for all five of those new charges. Reporting live on the South Side, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.